What does your mechanic mean when he tells you that your ECU has a problem? And what are the common causes that lead to an ECU failing? Let me start by explaining what an ECU is. What I have here in my hands right now is an ECU and basically what an ECU does in your car is it's basically the brains of the car. So every major function that your car has to do, like starting your engine, keeping it on idle, making sure that it's performing right, all goes through the ECU. And I thought that it was important that we talk about the ECU because in all the different videos that I've been doing, I talk about sensors and all the sensors that I keep talking about all feed into the ECU. So it doesn't matter whether your sensor is performing well or not. If your ECU is not functioning, then at the end of the day, your car just won't work. So built into your ECU is a set of values that correspond with the different sensors that are on your car. So for example, on this Hilux, you have right here, a throttle position sensor. This is basically the sensor that picks up a signal from the throttle or accelerator inside the car to say that oh, the person driving the car has depressed the accelerator and it has uh, sent a signal here that your throttle should open. So what that does now is sends a signal from there, your throttle position sensor, to the ECU and then the ECU makes its calculations to say how much power should be sent, I mean how much fuel and uh, you know should be sent to the engine and then your engine makes power and also if the car is an automatic it will also communicate from the ecu to the transmission to say that you need to change a gear down or to change a gear up to be able to get the car to move as efficiently as possible so just like i said the ecu is the brain of the car so any major function that your car is doing especially with the engine all runs through the ecu so let's talk about some of the problems that come with ECUs and what causes them and how you can avoid that happening to your ECU. One of the biggest causes of malfunctions in an ECU is voltage spikes and power surges. And the main things that cause this are one, a faulty alternator. So an alternator, for those of you who don't know, is like a big transformer that runs in your car and generates power to power everything uh, once you get the car started. So the alternator actually produces much higher voltage than what your car needs and built inside the alternator is a circuit which is a voltage regulator so that now gives you the 12 volts and different voltage uh, powers that your different components need in the car so if you have a faulty voltage regulator it can cause the the alternator to give more power and current to the engine than is needed and that ends up going up to the ecu and because the ecu has got very sensitive components on the inside that don't uh, you know allow for that variance in voltage then you can have your ECU burning another issue that can be caused other than the alternator being faulty is a bad jump starting situation so for example if you connect the terminals the wrong way when you're trying to jump start the car that can cause your ECU to get burnt but also if you have a car that has a bad voltage regulator and you try to jump start it that can send more voltage to uh, the ECU than is needed and that will end up burning your ECU. There's a number of cars that I've seen you know go through this same issue where you try to jump start somebody and then end up burning your ECU. That normally happens because the alternator on the car that's being jump started or the one that's jump starting has a bad voltage regulator so when the current from the other car comes through it's not able to be regulated and then ends up sending that signal back to the ecu and your ecu gets damaged because of that so to keep your ecu safe you want to make sure that you've got a good battery and when you're jump starting jump start the right way don't cross between negative and positive and also just make sure that your alternator is performing correctly if your alternator has an issue it will normally show up on the dashboard with the battery light and that's also a signal coming from the ECU so you want to make sure that you have that checked so that your alternator is running perfectly and you won't have problems with burning your ECU. Another thing that can cause a malfunction in your ECU is a short circuit on a sensor. So for example this sensor here 
some some of these sensors actually carry a voltage within and you see it's got two cables there so the voltage across is determined by what's happening within the system so sometimes there can be a short circuit within the sensor and if you don't address it so the short circuit between these two wires on the inside of the sensor can actually cause it to burn so just try and pay attention next time you get an error code for a sensor that needs to be replaced because if you don't replace that sensor and for some reason you know it gets a short circuit on the inside then you have bigger problems because now your ECU is burnt because of a short circuit in a sensor that you could have replaced. Another thing that could cause a malfunction on your ECU is kind of obvious and that is water damage. So some ECUs are placed within the cabin of the car. Actually most ECUs you find you know in some area beneath the the dashboard others on older cars used to even be you know at the floor of the car so if you get water into your car for any reason maybe you left the door open when it was raining and water gets to the ECU then your ECU could get water damaged it's an electrical component and obviously electrical components don't do well with water so that could damage your ECU the last thing you want to look out for when you're talking about ECUs and their malfunctioning is a software malfunction now this one is pretty much not really up to the driver when your ECU has a problem with the software like the software has glitched you might see things like you know misfiring from your engine and just different performance issues that you can't really explain so sometimes it might help you out if you just take an extra minute to take a look at your ECU because your ECU might just have a software glitch on older cars you find that it's not really an issue but on newer cars especially you know German cars that have so many different modules going into the ECU that have to boot up if you continuously remove your battery to do different things and connect it back you can find yourself having a software glitch because you know the, the ECU keeps on getting interrupted in that case but on average you probably won't get a, a software glitch but it's just something that you can note as a problem that could show up on your ECU as well so while trying to make this video i tried to look up some cars that have common issues with their ecus but nothing really stood out so i didn't want to put anybody's car down here and get people worried when there's really nothing to worry about but if you've had a problem with your ecu and you want to share with the community then you can definitely put it down in the comment section so that everybody knows how to better care for their ecus so hope somebody liked this video if there's anything that i left out leave it in the comments like and follow for more content like this.